Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Power Platform TV. So today we're going to talk about skill-based routing in Omnichannel. So what does that mean? So basically, when a chat comes in from a customer or through any of the uh, channels that you've enabled, uh, you can set the routing up so that when it comes in, it gets routed to the best available agent that can deal with that uh, particular case, right, or conversation. So let's look at how we can set that up. They, um, they've built this directly into the product and it's very easy to use, okay? So let's go firstly right down to the bottom here and we're gonna to go to uh, skill-based routing. So I'm in the Omnichannel Administration app. I'm gonna click skill-based routing and we see that we have this one configuration record and if I, cl if I click on this skill-based routing tab, uh, we see here we get this uh, ability to toggle this to yes to uh, enable the routing, okay? So I'm gonna click save here and basically that's gonna turn this on. So now the next thing is uh, the rating models. So um, we can see here, this is uh, already, um, this is part of my, my trial org. So this data was already in there, but you can set this up from scratch or you can use uh, you know, the same type of model basically for your, for your organization. But basically we have this one rating model and if I click on it here, we can see that the uh, this particular uh, model says that the the minimum value of a uh, rating is one and the maximum rating value is three. Okay, so it's defining the range of the uh, the skills basically. Okay, um, and then we have the rating values over here. So uh, basically, we have here. Um, that uh, we're giving the the word familiar number one, good number two, proficient number three, right? So we're basically saying if you're an agent and you have a particular skill and you're really good at something, then we're going to make you proficient, and that's going to be the 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 rating value of number three. So when a chat comes in, we'll know exactly that you're proficient at something, and then we can route the chat accordingly. Um, if we just click onto one of these like proficient, we'll just see that. Uh, basically, it's applied to that rating model and it has that value, right? So, so pretty straightforward, okay? So that's the default uh, rating model that we have set up. So now let's look at how we can apply this to, uh, to agents, right? So if we scroll up here, we have the queues and users, and then we have the skills here. So if I click on skills, we don't have any skills set up yet, right? So I'm gonna create a new skill and I'm gonna call this one uh, sales, right? So, um, you know, but let's kind of talk about a, a scenario we may want to uh, demo here, right? So let's say that you have a chat widget on your website and we ask the customer, what are you contacting us about? And typically customers will contact regarding uh, sales opportunities for signing up for new products, for example or they may want some support, like they already have a product from the company and they need some help, right? So let's create um, a couple of skills here for sales and support, and then we'll see that get routed to the to the best available agent, okay? So this is gonna be a skill here. We're gonna type in uh, select skill and the description uh, doesn't really matter. We can just say sales, right? So I'm gonna save this one and you, you can see we can already apply this to agents over here. Um, I'm just going to go and create one here for support. Support, make that a skill and save that. And we can apply that to agents here, right? So we have the two skills set up here. And if I go into sales, let's try something here. Uh, I'm going to click on new bookable resource. And here I can uh, select the, uh, the agent and then the rating value for the skill. Okay, so if I were to basically look up uh, an agent name here, at this point there's there's nothing because I haven't actually set up a bookable resource yet. So that's the next thing I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna click on new bookable resource and it's okay to navigate away from this. And here we can define uh, the actual bookable resources. Okay, so I'm gonna select myself here as an agent. Um, the name is the same as the username, doesn't really matter. I'm going to click save here and wait for that to save. And now let's see. So we have the resource characteristics and the resource categories. And then we have, this is the, the rating value here in the resource category. Okay. 
So let's go and uh, add a new bookable resource uh, characteristic here. Okay. So this is the skill. So I'm going to say sales and my agent and then the rating value. So if I look here, let's just say that I'm going to be proficient at sales. Okay. Because, look, you know, I'm a salesperson and um, that's what, you know, my skill is. Okay. So we have that one. All right, so now let's go back and what I want to do is the same thing for support. So I'm going to uh, make another agent uh, more of a support agent. So same deal here. Um, if I, I want to look up uh, my my agent, uh, David, he's not available there as a, as a uh, new bookable resource. So I'm going to click on this and create him as a bookable resource here. And there we go, click save. And now I'm going to uh, add him as a characteristic here. And we're gonna say that he is a support guy and he has a proficient rating at support, okay? So we're gonna save that. And so now I have two agents set up that each have these different skills, okay? So now what we wanna do is we wanna apply this to our uh, our routing, right? So let's do the following. We're going to uh, go to our chat that we created earlier. So we're gonna click on here. And if we go over to surveys, um, we created this uh, demo surveys uh, previously. I'm just gonna click on these and just get rid of them. And we're gonna just create one uh, survey question. And it's gonna basically be uh, you know, do you want sales or support, right? So let's just call this one uh, type of uh, type of inquiry. And we want to call this uh, uh, what would you like help with? And then the question type here, it's going to be an option set. And it's going to be uh, one sales and two support. Okay. And we'll make that mandatory because we need the user to fill this out. Okay, so let's go ahead and save and close this. And as I mentioned previously, these updates can take uh, up to 15 minutes to get reflected in the in the chat widget. So uh, let's go ahead and see uh, if the update has come through. Okay, so let's test out the chat widget and we see that the we do have the update that's come through and we have this very simple question that just asks do you want sales or support right so now let's go back to the configuration and we want to go back over here to the general settings and then to the work stream that is assigned to this particular widget right so this is the live chat work stream so I'm going to click on that and if we go over here we see this uh tab here that says skill attachment rules okay so um, what we're gonna do is you can see here that there's matching logic here and what this means is like uh, we get to choose if we want to get uh, these chats rounded to an agent that has the exact same skills as what we want or the closest match right so with the exact skills we could say you know we if a sales call comes in we only want it routed to a salesperson and if a support call comes in, we only want to route it to a, to a support person, right? Um, but what if the support person has no capacity um, to take another support call? Do we want that routed to the salesperson instead? And maybe they can help the person out, right? So that's where the closest match comes in versus the exact match. So we're going to do exact match in this demo. And then we'll click add. And let's see what options we have here. And we get this screen coming up that says the uh, new skill attachment rule. Okay, so let's call this one uh, sales. And we're going to add a condition here. And the condition is going to come from a context variable. And here we have the type of inquiry. So that's the one that we created uh, as part of our pre-chat survey. And then we have the operator is equal to, and then we're going to say, sales okay so let's go and save this and that's going to enable um, the uh, skill here and then we can say we want to attach a new skill 
and the skill is going to be sales and the rating value is going to be proficient right so let's go and save this and now what we have save this up here is that we have a skill uh basically a routing rule right it basically says if we get a context variable coming in that's equal to sales then round it to someone that has the sale sales proficient skill right and we want that to be an exact match right now let's go back and we'll just do the same thing for uh, support so if we go here we'll call this support and let's go and add a condition and we're going to say basically the context variable is equal to uh, type of inquiry here is equal to support and one thing that's interesting here is that when I'm entering in uh, support and sales here you may have noticed that uh, I did put a number in front of the uh, the context variable value, right? So in that option set, in order to order it, I did actually put the one dash and the two dash. So what I'll need to do here is actually add that back in like so, because that's what the actual value is gonna look like, right? So I'm gonna click save here and we'll go back in and fix the, uh, the sales one. Uh, I'm gonna add a new skill and it's gonna be uh, support is equal to proficient, okay? So let's go and save that. So that one's saved. And then now I'm just gonna go back into sales here and we will update this one to be one dash sales and save and we should be good. Okay, so now let's go back to our, our live chat work stream and we have this enabled and it's all ready to go, right? So um, let's, go, let's go try this out. So back onto the chat widget here, uh, let's say we want to, the, the customer is, uh, has a sales inquiry, right? So they, they come in here, they select uh, one for sales and they hit submit. So now this has come in and let's take a look at, um, our, at where it's being routed to with our agents. So if I go back over here, uh, so this is myself here, right? And I am the salesperson, so it's coming to me here. Let's just go and refresh this. And we can see here, you know, it is assigned to me. Uh, everything looks pretty good here, right? What happens if I reject this? Let's just go reject it and refresh. And it just keeps coming back to me, right? I'm just gonna keep rejecting it. And in the meantime, let me just go ahead and find uh, David. So here's David, I'm just gonna end this. He's in a couple of conversations already. So I'm just gonna close these ones. It's gonna free up his capacity. Let me just close this one and we'll close this one and we should be good. And let's see. So if I keep rejecting this, and it just keeps coming back to me, right? So now let's try a, uh, a different one. So if I go over here and this is an older chat, I'm just going to close this, refresh it. And let's pick support this time and submit it. And I bet it's going to come over here to David, right? So let's take a look. And we can see that David's getting this one here now, right? So um, basically, and if I reject this one, we're gonna see that uh, it just keeps coming back to David. And so he, he keeps getting this one and I'm just gonna go and accept this one now. And I'm just gonna go and accept this one in the background. And we'll, we'll see that basically this one here is the sales one. And, uh, and then David's one here is the support one. So that's it, skill-based routing. Hope you guys enjoyed. So that's it guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, check out my blog at carldesouza.com. Thank you.